Hi everybody, this is Peter Schiff and it is uh, Saturday, May 22nd, 2010. I wanted to update everybody on what happened last night at the Republican convention in Connecticut. As many of you may or may not know, uh, I was unsuccessful in my attempt to garner the 15% that I need uh, to be on the, uh, on the ballot in August in the primary. However, uh, I don't think that we need to be disheartened by this. I think actually my campaign will be strengthened uh, by the fact that the party elites denied me a position on the ballot. Obviously, if I can't get on the ballot, that's not going to be the case. But if we get the required number of signatures and my name does appear on that ballot, then I think that my position as the outsider, as the true grassroots independent candidate, will be solidified. You know, Linda McMahon had been trying to position herself as a grassroots candidate. And clearly, that's not the case. She is uh, the insider. She has bought her way inside. The Republican Party has sold out to Linda McMahon, and she owns that party. Uh, she is the ultimate uh, insider candidate. There is no grassroots there. Uh, it's all AstroTurf. You know, all the grassroots organizations in Connecticut, all the Tea Parties in Connecticut, support me. None of them support Linda McMahon. Linda McMahon tried to get their support, but they couldn't be bought. Too bad we can't say the same thing for the Republicans that were at that convention last night because they were bought. You know, I had a lot of support among those delegates. I had at least 15% to 20% that were going to go for me. They were, and they switched. Many of them switched in the last week or so based on a lot of disinformation that was being spread by the Linda McMahon campaign about me and about my intentions in this race and about the fact that I was dropping out of the race and there was no reason to support me. And in fact, as the votes were being cast, Linda McMahon had people all around pressuring them to switch their votes. She had about 40 people running around the convention floor, even though that was against the rules, uh, having people switch their votes. There were many uh, delegations where the town committees had endorsed me, where I got no votes at all from the delegates. All of them went to McMahon. All of the people who had told me that they were going to vote for me, of the ones that did in fact switch, they all switched to Linda McMahon. Uh, people were telling me after the fact you know, that they were surprised at the, the delegations, that they knew that they had support for, for me and that they were switching uh, during the process. Now, at the end of the day, when they, when they stopped the voting, I only had about 44 or 45 delegates. Now, my high watermark was well over 100. I had about 11% at one time, and I would have had more if more of my delegates hadn't switched earlier on. But at the end of the first ballot, um, none of the candidates had a majority, neither McMahon nor Simmons. There would have been a second ballot. And there were many people that told me that I was going to get their support on the second ballot. Many people said that they had no choice, even though they wanted me, they were required to vote for Linda or Rob on the first ballot. But once they were freed from those commitments, that they could vote their conscience and they were going to vote for me. One person told me that his entire delegation was voting for Linda McMahon on the first ballot, but every one of them was going to vote for me on the second ballot. Unfortunately, there was no second ballot and I wasn't able to get uh, that support. And I think that was by design, because at the end of the official voting, all the people started switching to Linda McMahon. A lot of my people started switching. And at that point, I instructed my remaining delegates to sw switch to Rob Simmons, because I didn't think she was paying, playing fair. But you know, also, as more of my delegates started switching uh, to Rob, some of Rob's delegates started switching uh, to Linda. So it seemed to me that the fix was in. And we should have known that by the way the rules were constantly being changed, I believe, to favor Linda McMahon. Uh, for example, usually at a convention, the delegates are allowed to address the convention, make a little speech prior to the voting. Now, that would have favored me because I'm obviously the strongest public speaker. There were many delegates there that hadn't heard me speak. And of course, had I been allowed to address my delegates, the ones that were switching uh, over to Linda, maybe they would have had a harder time with that because I know philosophically, they wanted to be with me. Um, but we weren't allowed to make speeches. In fact, there was a last minute push at the convention to change those rules, but it was shot down. Now instead, what the convention had allowed was that each candidate could show a three minute video. Now I was very excited about that. I had a great video ready to go. I, it was much better than the other candidates' videos, which I was able to see. Unfortunately, I was the only candidate whose video did not play. What happened was I was nominated first. And as a result, they had some technical difficulties queuing up my video, so it did not play. Now, 
They initially told me that they would play my video when all the other candidates had been nominated and their videos had been played, they would go back and play my video. Now that was fine with me because my video would be last, which I thought was better than having it be first. In any event, at the end of the other videos, they changed their mind. They said they didn't have time for my video. They couldn't spare those three minutes. And so they were gonna play my video after all the ballots were done. At the end of the first ballot, then before the second ballot, they would play my video. Now I protested and said, well, what if there is no second ballot? But the protests fell on deaf ears. And as I feared, there was no second ballot. So nobody got to see my three minute video. Now, I don't think that that would have altered the outcome but it just shows you uh, where the convention was headed. They were doing everything that they could to make sure that I did not get my 15%, that I was not on the ballot, and so that the people didn't have an opportunity to vote for Peter Schiff. Well, you know what? They're gonna have that opportunity anyway. The party elites are not gonna keep me off the ballot. Linda McMahon's money is not gonna keep me off the ballot. I don't care how many votes, how many delegates her money was able to corrupt, but they can't corrupt uh, uh, rank and file Republicans. They're not going to corrupt the Tea Party. They're not going to corrupt the thousands and thousands of Republican voters throughout the state of Connecticut who really believe in the principles that that party espouses and who should be embarrassed uh, by the attitude of the people who, who, who run those conventions and who uh, pretend to represent the Republicans, but who in fact represent their own interests and their own agendas uh, even if it imposes what's good for the party, what's good for the state, and what's good for the country. So I don't think we should be disheartened by this. I think we should be empowered. I think we should be emboldened. We should put it right back in their faces and show the Republican Party in the state of Connecticut that they cannot keep Peter Schiff off this ballot, that I'm going to be on this ballot whether they like it or not. And another good development is that Rob Simmons is not dropping out. So they didn't push him out either. There will be a primary in this state, despite the fact that the Republican Party wanted to make sure that there was no primary. There will be a primary, and not only will Rob Simmons be in it, but I'm gonna be in it. And at the end of the day, I still believe that I will beat Linda McMahon, that the, the true power of the people and of the Tea Party will beat her money and will beat the party hierarchy. You know, Rand Paul was able to do that in Kentucky. The establishment wanted a Trey Grayson, but Rand Paul won in a landslide. The same thing can happen here. The establishment wants Linda McMahon because they want her money. They think all that counts in politics is money. But you know what? Ideas and principles count more than money. And at this time uh, in, in our country, with, us, with our nation in such grave danger, with our liberties and our freedoms under assault, we can't be bought off. I can't be bought off. And I, and I know the voters of Connecticut won't be bought off. And I hope my supporters are not bought off. So what everybody can do today to really help me is one, they can give more donations to my campaign. I need more money. It's going to cost me money to collect these signatures. And it's going to require that we focus our efforts on raising, getting signatures for the next two weeks rather than other things. So while I believe this will ultimately benefit me in the primary in August, right now we need to raise more money. And so if you go to my website at shiftforsenate.com, show me that I still have your support, that you haven't given up. Show the state of Connecticut that you haven't given up. More importantly, I need volunteers. I need volunteers to collect these signatures. And the only people who can volunteer are registered Republicans in the state of Connecticut. So. If you are a registered Republican living in Connecticut, please call us at our campaign. The number is 203-874-6880, uh, 203-874-6880, and volunteer. Over the next two weeks, we need your help in collecting signatures. If you know somebody, if you're not a registered Republican in Connecticut yourself, but you know Republicans that live in the state of Connecticut, please contact them and let them know that I can use their help that our movement can use their help at Shift for Senate. It's going to be very critical that we get the necessary signatures. And we need a lot of signatures. I think it's 8,000 or 8,500, but we've got to collect 12,000 because a lot of them are going to be thrown out. Anyway, in closing, uh, let's, let's not be discouraged by this. Let's be encouraged. Let's be motivated. We can still win this. And if we get on this ballot, we will be more powerful than ever. Thanks, everybody.